If you're not already excited, I don't know what to tell you, but this is awesome. I have been loving this game mode, and finally I can post some Diamond Dynasty. This is the start of the series. As you can see, my team is taking the field right here, and we have easily the best jerseys I've seen in the last two days since I've had this game. But still, we have the best jerseys out there. Best jerseys on MLB The Show, and we're going to show you those real quick. We are the Boston Shake Crushers. As you see, that shake right there is crushed out of the park. But let's check out the jerseys. Let's check out all of our swag that we got going on, man. I love these orange and black colors that you're going to see. I love this logo that I made up. It's really easy. I'm going to be dropping some tutorials on using the actual logo editor. It is absolutely amazing. I love how that feature is in here. I wish they did something like this with my team. Look at that away jersey. It looks nice. It's kind of got a, uh, a San Francisco Giants feel and an Orioles feel to it. I'm not really a fan of either of those teams, but I really like the colors. I think they just look absolutely amazing. I am using the Giants home park as well. It's just really very scenic and majestic, and it just looks awesome, and it's actually a really good park to play at. But let's check out first. We're going to open up a pack. That's what we do. We open up packs. We've been playing a couple games, and we just have enough to get a 15-player jumbo pack. Comes with pitchers and position players. So let's rip this thing open. Let's get right into this, and yeesh. Really? These are the dudes we got? I mean, John Mayberry Jr., he's pretty decent. He can, he can do a, a couple different things, and he can play at pretty much anywhere in the outfield. We got some decent relief pitchers, and ooh, Mark Teixeira. All right, that's someone who's going to hopefully put in some work. 89 overall. He's easily my best player so far. Alfredo Aceves as well, and that's it for the pack. One thing I do wish that you could flip the cards over, you actually can't. I don't know why there is no flipping over. That would be kind of cool. So if it would show their stats in the back, like, you know, his hitting power, his contact, his speed, it does not. And another thing that's kind of frustrating about this game mode is, man, <laughs> adding people to your roster and uh, <laughs> it just gets to be really annoying. You'll see right here, I, I moved a couple people to reserves, but I got too many players in the roster. So I had to go back. I had to actually cut some players, and when you cut them, you lose the cards forever. But I'm pretty sure once you add a card to your uh, collection, your roster, whatever, it goes to the collections, which is nice because they have different collections for, say you collect the uh, all the Cy Young Ward winners, then you get like uh, 30 million points as it is. I don't know why they use the million point scale, but it just seems like you're rich. But really, that's only like three packs. But we added a couple nice relief pitchers to our roster. That's kind of something that's nice. So far, the bullpen is looking nice. And right here, I'm showing you guys the uh, card recycler. And this is a new feature that... If you're coming from another Ultimate Team, you have no clue what this is. If you've never played the show before, like me, you're like, what is this? What is this recycler? Well, pretty much you could take players, put them in, and get back a better card. So right here, you can only really do two cards, but we put in a D, and I think it was a C- minus or something, and we got a C out of it. We, you get better cards. I've taken it with, uh, I've taken, uh, what is it, outfielders. You put in a couple crappy outfielders in the mid-60s, and you get out a nice one in a, about a 78 range or something like that and it basically just takes the two cards you put in mash them together and gives you a better card which is nice but take a look at some of the players i got right now we're kind of a weak team but i mean i mean we haven't even gotten online yet a lot of people don't even have the game yet it still is not out technically but now it's about release date i'm putting the video out you guys are getting ready once people start getting teams we can start playing online they have seasons they have awards for how well your team does during the seasons and Pretty much the goal is to build the team and then build up some of these dynasty players which you can create. You can create legends from that. You can create anything. I can put myself in the game and make myself a player, which I love. That is so cool. Man, you can make your own legends. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. And you can choose what they're good at and what they're bad at. I have a couple cards that, I, that are actually pretty good that I can use and make some beast players out of because it gives you a couple nice ones right off the back along with all the other random made up players. But I'm really excited for this. I cannot wait to show you guys some gameplay. I've already got a whole bunch of games ready to go. So if you guys are excited, be sure to leave a like and tell me what you think of my team so far. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Diamond Dynasty. We have plenty more on the way. And yeah, and now I can actually start playing people online. But I still do have a whole bunch of games versus other people's teams in the uh, extra innings game mode, which is where you play the computer. And playing the computer is actually pretty nice since I'm new to this game mode. I'm actually learning the controls and stuff like that. But yeah, be sure to click the other annotations on the screen and subscribe for more. I will be doing plenty more videos on this game. So yeah, definitely be sure to check them out. Peace.